right, guys. Uh oh, what's this? Technical difficulties. Welcome back to Some Time Recipes. Uh, we're gonna try this formula again because it's gonna be a little easier on me just to edit in the future. So you're gonna have to deal with all my mistakes. Let's get started. We're gonna be doing chicken nuggets, not just any type of chicken nuggets. We're gonna we're gonna try and do some Wendy's stuff here because I love Wendy's. It's probably not gonna be great. Why are you making that face? Getting a phone call. You are or me? Me. Oh, okay. Ooh, big oops. Um, I ground my own chicken, spiced it up. We're gonna spice up the flour, a little egg wash, but we're gonna do it in an air fryer because I'm bougie like that. And also I don't feel like put filling pot with oil. First, we're gonna grease up the air fryer. You can add oil to these, just you don't need to add a lot. Just a little bit, just to grease it up. It'll help things fry and crisp up a bit. Always wash your hands. Filthy, filthy creatures. Let's see. We're gonna add some garlic. If I had powder, this would be garlic powder instead of using minced garlic that's dried. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Some paprika. Let's pop this cap off. Who are we kidding? Oh, oh yeah. We want this to be flavor blasted, just like our goldfish. Hit it up with the salt. A lot of flour in there, so we want to make sure we got enough seasoning before we're gonna actually taste it. We use chili powder because we like things spicy in this house. Oh yeah. And we're gonna add some thyme, give it that herbalicious look. Mix it up nice and good. Metric ton of seasoning. See, look, it's there. Oh, yeah, look at that lighting. That looks like some good flour. Okay. Wish I could smell. <laughs> Just uh, the aftermath. All right, we're gonna take our chicken, my ground little chicken here. Take a little chunk. We're just gonna press it into chicken nuggy shape. Cat's infiltrating the cabinets as we speak. She's gone. She's never coming out. See ya. I'm gonna let her out. <laughs> All right, drop it in the flour. Hey, what are you doing? You wanna come out? There's not much room in there. Nah, she's lost. Forever. And breaded, coated. We're ready to fry. That's all? That's it. Well, that's it for now. I mean, it's one batch. Oh. I have that second layer thing, but you know what? I want to make sure that they come out right. What if I have to make any tweaks? Because I can eat all of those. I bet you can. Like, now. Raw? No. Like, if they were cooked, I'd eat them now. You're going to eat your six-piece spicy nugget right now? Well, when it's cooked now. Oh, dude. Tell you all this flour off my fingies. All right. We're going to set this at 390 degrees. We're going to do seven minutes, because I didn't preheat this bad boy. Seven minutes in heaven. Uh, I didn't preheat this bad boy. So we're going to go seven minutes. First, let that cook through, and then we're gonna flip them and do another six. They should be good to go. When you guys cooking raw stuff in an air fryer, it takes a little longer than a regular fryer, but it's hopefully worth it. You go ahead and stop. All right, time is up. Check these guys. 
this side looks pretty good. However, I think I need to re-oil them for the other side. I'm sure they'll taste ah, fine. But uh, that's, what we're, that's what we're looking at. But you know, this is all about experimentation. Never tried this before. Now I did. Plate it up with some cat soap. You know what? We're so curious right now. Me with chopsticks for one. Hot. It's actually really good. <laughs> it's good. It's not bad at all. So yeah, if you want to make these, you can use ground chicken yourself. You can cut up little chicken nuggets with chicken breast, kind of like Chick-fil-A does. I have a stand mixer with a meat grinder, so I ground my own chicken breast, mix it up. Bougie like that. But anyways, chicken nuggets, guys. Hope you liked the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, hope you guys had a great holiday. I know I wasn't posting over the holidays. It was really busy acclimating back into the work environment and seeing family. Not too many family, of course. But like always, stay strong, cook on. Um, see you.